Take three. There, we did it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions Part 35 Poise. In today's episode, we are honing in on a definition for multidimensional thinking where more than five decision factors must be taken into account, both in our musical projects that we do in these streams and in other projects that we're working on. One of our ahas on the 4, 5, 5, 4, 5, 5, 6 scale is the scale really encourages big, dramatic, melodic leaps. And you saw that here when we were coming all the way from up here. And even in the middle, it's because there's huge gaps between these notes and the rest of the scale. And we knew that we liked how it sounded over here a lot. But one of the things we're realizing is when you look at the musical score way of seeing melodies, you don't get the same gut feel as dramatic pullback here. Dun, dun, dun. We literally had to expand our 3D piano kit with yet another octave worth of notes here. This is uh, C4, C5, C5, and C6. Because we're going all the way from here to here and then down to here in the composition to date. Uh, if you can prove it over here, if you look at, against our piano keyboard, you'll see we're going all the way from mm, C5 down to C, E3, and then in, in our uh, other score, it went even higher. So we made the updated piano kit. That was a key result, you know, to cover three octaves. We also uh, had some fun working in our platform as long as we were there. <coughs> we took some footage of this... Uh, Gonna be using our full interface here. Sometimes it's hard. There. Footage of this C and made some video out of it. We also rearranged stuff here, made a big backdrop for that scale that matches the backdrop for our cookable chain link that you saw several streams ago and move things around because we're getting ready for the presentation in March and we need kind of demo areas ready to go here. In fact, we even made a point of writing a script in the screen stream so that we could sh uh, automatically demonstrate some features of our scale when people watch. We also worked in our started animation. We wanted to start making scenes that would reflect our multiple dimensions of emotional safety, comfort and disturbance, cognitive growth is familiar and it's exotic. So we came up with four shapes like this, which are polygons. <clears throat> and then we also came up with colors that we liked and we did some research on colors. Then we tested driving the shapes with our microphone using a uh, kaleidoscope and what's really intriguing is depending on how loud the volume is they are driven into completely different polygon shapes similarly these colors we're using the volume to make the make the colors stand out so we have a fixed version of the colors and a anime color and then we finally hooked it all together and made them happen at the same time. 
<clears throat> so again, multiple dimensions. Now, not only are we using words like comforting and disturbing, but also a color and a shape, vocabulary of shape and vocabulary of color to work with. <clears throat> we also did a test of using uh, our playing sounds from our phone through our headset mic so they can go into the 3D platform when we're trying to show stuff off. The tests were, uh, we did learn one key thing, we have to have a second mic enabled down here when we need it down here that has no uh, noise suppression filter on it. This mic that we use all the time has noise suppression on it. But we can't, that won't work. It kills the, the phone sound. So down here, we have a channel that has no, no mics at all. I mean, no filters at all except gain. That was a key learning. Uh, and then we need to retest again because for some reason our... Our, where's our microphone? We're not getting any any voice signal in here. And there, there could be multiple reasons for why that's happening. Finally, for grins, we, uh, we took a silly little video of us sitting on here and spinning around and overlaid it with the, uh, the C video. And then we added the spatial water sounds that we were, were uh, running through the Reaper program uh, a couple streams ago. And we got this kind of fun thing. So all of this, again, we're exploring multiple dimensions. Now we're using video, uh, background video, and overlay video. We're using a quiet water sound, a medium water sound, sound that's been spatially audio processed. More than five things going on at once. Multidimensional thinking, multiple uh, composing in multiple dimensions. And then finally, finally, we got back to our music score and we were running it against the the new animation but the trouble is with a microphone there's such dramatic drops in volume and then loud volumes you can really sort of see how the shapes change so what we did was uh, when we played what we recorded last time there were no pauses it never got quiet enough for you to see the shapes drop into their rest state. So we added a couple pauses and um, and now we're going to play this for you. But rather than play it for you through here, we're going to play it through you for the animation. And that means we have to switch it from the microphone to the music. So here we go. First animation on float. So that concludes today's stream. <clears throat> I think what we like about today's episode is we kept we have kept talking in this stream about sometimes when you feel like you hit a wall, you just keep moving and go go this way and see if you can see 
the objective from another angle. And we've been doing that several times. Today, we played. We went in several different directions to get different angles. We were in the 3D platform. We were uh, extending the 3D kit. We took pictures of the sea. We took pictures of us, you know, running around, swiveling. We, uh, in particular here, these fixed shapes, and then adding them where they were being driven. Let's get this back on the mic so you can see. Where we, we've never quite kaleidoscoped the shapes before so that the resting the resting state changed like that. Uh, so we explored that. And then we, we have driven uh, transparency inverted before, but we, and now we're putting it together. So the point is we tried two or three different things at once today and then came back at them, uh, getting three different perspectives perhaps on, on our goal, including even, we weren't even planning to edit this uh, score today and we did anyway. In fact, when we added pauses and all that, it's no longer 74 seconds. It's now 78 because we added several pauses there. So thank you for your time, curiosity, and attention. We had uh, heard from several people today. Thank them for that. We heard from Fishy5345, PepiGo, and Mr. Spatz. Thank you for your questions and comments. Um, ideas for next time are to keep playing and to be determined. So do come back, do take care, and do keep on streaming.